Factsverse presents 10 Worst Jobs in the World Number 1. Septic Tank Repair Person Septic tanks installed underground do malfunction, requiring urgent repairs. In this case, the septic tank repair person may have to remove gallons of human waste and climb inside the tank to diagnose the problem. Number 2. Roadkill Collector Although roadkill is romanticized in some quarters, cleaning up the mess left after drivers run over animals is not for the faint-hearted. To start with, roadkill can remain in place for days, meaning that a cleaner may appear on the scene when roadkill has decomposed and is quite smelly. In addition, scrapping the remains and contrails of dead animals from road surfaces can be heartbreaking, especially when the roadkill is young or pregnant. To understand why few people desire this job, imagine conducting a cleanup exercise on a hot or rainy day. Number 3. Pet Food Taster Surprisingly, every brand of pet food undergoes tasting by a professional human taster before it is availed commercially to consumers. Those tasked with this unenviable duty must have the tenacity to bear the smell and unpalatable taste of pet food. Luckily, these tasters are not required to swallow the pet food. All they have to do is chew, move the food around the mouth until their taste buds register its flavor, and then spit it out. Still, pet food tasting can leave you with temporary cat or dog breath. Number 4. Portable Toilet Cleaner Portable toilets are widely used at events such as trade fairs, weddings, music shows, parties, and even outdoor company bonding excursions. Cleaning portable toilets can be tiring and uninspiring, especially when you have to deal with the row after row of messy toilets. For instance, at events with thousands of attendees, one cleaner may be required to clean anywhere from 10 to 60 toilets. To perform this task, portable toilet cleaners use vacuum wands to suck up all the feces deposited by event participants. Other duties associated with this job include cleaning any soiled surfaces thoroughly as well as picking up trash in and around the portable toilet. Number 5. Mosquito Researcher Working as a mosquito researcher to find cures for diseases such as malaria is quite noble. However, you may not be aware that these researchers deliberately expose themselves to mosquito bites. To be precise, mosquito researchers enter tents made of mosquito netting with a gap to allow the malaria-carrying insects to enter. As such, this exercise is typically carried out in areas where there are plenty of mosquitoes. Alternatively, researchers can insert parts of their bodies into mosquito-infested enclosures for hours and stoically endure thousands of mosquito bites to advance scientific research or malaria drugs. In some cases, researchers are required to catch tens or hundreds of these malaria-carrying bugs. One researcher, Helg Zeiler, endured about 3,000 mosquito bites over a three-hour period and caught 500 Anopheles mosquitoes. Number 6. Proctologist A proctologist is a doctor who specializes in diagnosing and treating medical conditions that affect the rectum, colon, and anus. Another term used to describe the proctologist is colorectal surgeon. Some of the medical conditions that would require the attention of a proctologist include fecal incontinence, hemorrhoids, fistulas, rectal fissures, or mild to severe constipation. One of the gross conditions that colorectal surgeons treat is rectal prolapse, which refers to the rectum turning itself inside out. This profession is unappealing because diagnosis usually involves physically probing the colon and rectum via the anus. If you can stomach doing so after consuming a heavy meal, pursue a career in this highly lucrative field. Number 7. Buckingham Palace Guard Guarding the most prominent royal palace in the world should be exhilarating, not to mention a sought-after job. The truth is, the Buckingham Palace Guard job is one of the most loathed in the British military. This is because guards are expected to stand ramrod straight for hours, irrespective of the weather. Furthermore, guards must put up with obnoxious tourists who can be rude, peer at and even poke them to see if they are really humans. Guards are also required to rigorously clean and press their uniforms to ensure they are impeccable and without creases. Those who slack on the job are subject to punishment by military bosses. Number 8. Watching Grass Grow 
Unbelievably, the British seed houses at Lincoln have hired an individual whose job brief is watching grass grow. To be specific, the in-house grass specialist is tasked with planting grass seedlings and recording data related to their growth cycles, meaning the work is as inspiring as watching paint dry. Number 9. Elephant Examiner If you fancy working as an elephant examiner, take note, you may have to plunge your entire upper body inside the rectum of these gigantic land animals. This in addition to performing rectal enemas in preparation for the rectal exam, identifying lesions and injuries, recording exam data in an appropriate format, and monitoring pregnant pachyderms. Although these tasks may sound routine, they are highly risky because an elephant can weigh anywhere from 6,000 to 12,000 pounds depending on species and age. African bush elephants are the most massive, weighing up to 12,000 pounds, while Asian and African forest elephants tip the scales at 6,000 pounds. Number 10. Noodler A noodler is a type of angler who attracts and catches fish without using conventional fishing tools, such as fishing rod or net. Instead, noodlers cover their hands and arms with worms, guts, and basically any other bait that attracts fish. Alternatively, a noodler can stick his or her hand in a catfish hole and hope to catch a catfish. This means a noodler must be ready and willing to touch, smell, and clean muck from his hands. Subscribe for more! Number 11. Being a voice artist for Factsverse you have to voice some really bizarre, weird, disgusting scripts sometimes, usually after you just finished eating. 